hey guys welcome back to my channel so i'm doing my face routine and i first start off with the cetaphil derma control oil removing foam wash and i just go in with my hands first to rub this in get all the areas on my face because i want to get a great and good cleanse when i do this the reason why i use the oil removing type is because i do have oily skin um, but lately my skin has actually been a little on the drier side because of obviously winter time and of the new medicine on my face that I use that I've been prescribed. But this stuff still keeps me moisturized. It doesn't take out too many oils, but it does help with, um, it does help with my oils. And now I'm just going in and I'm just, um, patting my face, um, with a washcloth. And just wiping any axes that I have still left on my face to make sure everything is off. I'm getting it in certain spots I couldn't get with my hands and I'm wiping around all those areas. And then I'm going to go back in a second time and reapply and re go in, go in with this with my skin. Um, just to make sure I got everything, all the dirt and everything off my face. And then I'm just taking a paper towel here and I'm just patting my face dry, making sure my whole face is completely dry. And I don't wanna tell you to drop me, but I don't wanna play your face. And then I'm going with this pixie um, toner just to make sure everything is off my face and for sure. Um, this is glycolic acid, I believe. So I just go in with this to yeah make sure everything's clean and then along with the medicine that i was prescribed by my dermatologist it's the sclenomycin phosphate and benzoyl peroxide gel yes yeah, so this i actually got prescribed and got it at the pharmacy and this stuff has been helping my face keep the bumps off my face and help with my dark marks and I've only been using it for almost about a month, a month now. And then I'm going with my Cetaphil Daily Oil Free Hydrating Lotion and once again it's still going to hydrate my face but it's not going to put too much oil back in my face because I've already you know have a lot of oil on my face but it does still help hydrate my face when I do go out during the day for the morning for my morning routine I do go in with a sunscreen a La Roche Posay and 60 SPF and I go in with that and I do put that on my face and just started really honestly using sunscreen I did not realize that if you don't use it and you have dark marks that it could you know make the dark marks darker now I'm going in with my topicals brightening clearing serum I'm going with this all over my face um this does help with dark marks um and yeah I'm just putting this all over my face And now I'm going with my Kiehl's Clearly Corrective Dark Spot Solution. And I've been using this stuff for at least a couple months now and I've definitely seen a difference. I just like it because it's a light oil that I put on my face, but it, it's helping, it's just helping moisturize my face, but it's also not making me too oily and it's also helping with my dark marks. the Mario Bades Badesco spray um, the facial spray just to finish my face off I feel like this is a good thing to end with and then I'm going with the Laneige um, lip mask I know this says this is for a night sleep mask but I do like to use it during the day because it does keep me moisturized <laughs> And yeah, 
guys that's pretty much the routine make sure you like comment and subscribe and bye guys